Hi, this is Tim Overtz. I'm here with Mythica Von Griffin today, and yeah. we're going to learn a little bit more about Mythica. How are you today? I'm great. How are you today? Oh, not bad. It's a beautiful day outside. We've got a nice little fire going. You're here, which is always amazing. Yay! <laughs> You're always in such a good mood. So, I'm sure everybody that has heard about your senior paintings and stuff, they're always curious. How did you get started in this? Well, um... I got started because a friend of mine named David Caballero, uh, he runs the makeup counter at Disguises, which is here in, mm -hmm. in Denver, Colorado, over on Colfax and Kipling. And um, I went in for zombie makeup or something like that. I think it was for the oh, zombie nice. crawl. And, uh -huh. and he says, Mythica, you're an artist. Why don't you try body painting? And I'm like, well, I, I don't have the supplies for that. And he's like, well, that's okay, just bring your brushes. So at the time, I was looking for something that married my spirituality and my art. And um, body painting does that. I get to put energy into the people that I'm painting. Mm -hmm. And it's that perfect marriage between creativity and spirituality that allows me to do what I really want, which is to help people and change lives. Oh, very cool. So to you, it's more than just the painting and the art. Oh, it's absolutely. A whole part of you. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so where is this taking you? I know you just told us where you started. Kind of where where have you gone since then? What have you done? Well, when I got onto um, Skin Wars, mm -hmm. right, uh, which is now on Netflix, and for those of you who don't know, I'm on season one. Yes. Um, Fan, cool. fan favorite, <laughs> which I'm very proud of, nice. um, because I, I love and adore my fans and uh -huh. the people who have come to me over the years. Cool. And, um, but um, where it's taken me is originally when I started out when I was on the show, I was homeless. Oh, really? I don't know if you knew that. I didn't. Yeah, uh, I was homeless and um, living in a house not far from here uh, in the laundry room. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So for Thanksgiving, we went to that house because she was the one who took care of me and, you know, oh, cool. would help support me. And, mm -hmm. and I was telling them the story of how I lived in the laundry room. They're like, well, let's go see the laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> like the famous laundry yeah, room, right? Absolutely. So we went down and, and I said, the day bed was right here and here's the laundry. And I went in and I opened the door and I stuck in my butt like I was, and I'm like, and that's my bed and there's people's <laughs> butt and... Nice. That's where I lived, and so, oh, wow. and now you know I'm engaged to get married, and yeah. I live in my own home, and so life is very different from where it was when I started on Skin oh, wow. Wars. Yeah, so I didn't know any of that. that kind oh, of, yeah. I, I, I think it's cool. I mean, if people actually knew the whole story, it would... Yeah, they don't get, on the show, they, they know that I live in a lawn, well, one of the other people on the show said I lived in a laundromat. Right. And, and of course they didn't correct them, <laughs> you know. Of course not, it's TV. It's TV. Yeah. And, um, but I did live in a laundry room when I could get back there. And other times I was in somebody's backyard in a, you know those campers that fit in the back of a pickup truck? Yeah. On stilts? Uh-huh. So I was in one of those. <clears throat> and um, in, if that's where I was at, because I couldn't get back to Aurora, mm -hmm. then I went to the bathroom in the back alley in between oh, no. two sheds, you know, and well, that's amazing. Like, like, so to go from that to where I'm at now right? and the life that I have now. Yeah. Whew, that's good. What, that's a, awesome. what a journey. Success stories are always yeah, so what cool. A journey. That's incredible. And you still maintained your art and still did all that while you were homeless. That's like major dedication. I was so. very, it, it was more what than dedication. It was a lot of different people who really believed in me. Um, mm -hmm. I had one gentleman who was a patron and he would help buy paint for me and he's like, really? I'll do this, but just, you can't tell anyone it was me. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Oh, wow. You know, and I had other people who mm -hmm. would give me rides because I didn't have a vehicle or right. help me. I, I had a restaurant that, uh, that helped me with meals oh, and really? they cool. said, oh, so you just come to the counter mm -hmm. and you just order whatever you want. and." Wow. You know, and so once a That's day, cool. if I could get there, I would uh -huh. I would go and get a meal. 
man. So there was a lot of, I have really had a lot of people who loved, supported me, and believed in me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have an amazing talent and a gift for sure. Thank you. Um, I've had the opportunity to, to work with you. And I get to take the photos of all the really cool stuff that you do. Yeah. It's so amazing. Um, so where, where are you going from here? I know you just got a big whirlwind tour at the yeah, end of I the year. Yeah, I just came back from my end of the year Over. tour, mm -hmm. uh, doing Fantasy Fest down in Key West and um, Dragon Ball, which is down in Dallas. Right. And uh, ended up with DocuCon, nice. which is uh, an 18 and up um, comic anime convention that's uh -huh. here in, in Denver. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so where I'm going, well, now that I've had a little bit of rest right. and sleep <laughs> That's and recovery, good. which is good, mm -hmm. um, this next year I am really going to be focusing on going to sci-fi fantasy conventions that are like Comic-Cons. Oh, okay. Um, technically speaking, uh, San Diego Comic Con is quote unquote like the only real Comic Con, and right. you know everyone I've heard has, that. <laughs> right? And um, but you know everyone has a love of comics, and everyone has a love of all things sci-fi and fantasy, right. and people do cosplay and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So my focus for this next year is actually going to be going and speaking at as many uh, Comic Cons as possible. Right. And that's where my focus is going to be because I really, uh, besides just body painting, man, the passion is speaking. Mm -hmm. And so part of what I'm doing is going to all these various wow. conventions right. and talking about body image, self-esteem, and cosplay. Oh, wow. Very cool. Um, a few years ago, mm -hmm. I did a female calendar like I called it Shiro's. I saw that. That yeah. Amazing. And um it has had such uh, a wonderful impact on people really? that they're like, oh my gosh, that was my favorite character or oh my gosh, this oh, is my cool. favorite character and mm -hmm. wow, look at the detail on that and right. and so uh I'm bringing my message of what I've learned through body painting and mm -hmm. body image and self esteem and translating that into cosplay and how that helps us heal our own self-loathing and hatred because we're playing our heroes and then oh, we cool. become our heroes uh -huh. and then the really cool thing is when people at the cons are like can I take my picture with you <laughs> and That's there's really cool. this interaction where they don't interact with you as yourself right they interact with you as the character sure they're like oh my god that's amazing or like a little kid is like oh you know and just looks at you with those big eyes and there's right. this this interaction that happens mm -hmm. that brings out the best in us yeah, that's cool i think as we get older we kind of lose our imagination and speak for yourself that dream world a lot of people <laughs> You know, and it's amazing because you get to live that every day. That's awesome. Yeah, and so I'm excited to go to the conventions because mm -hmm. for some reason the younger demographic has picked me and messages <laughs> me daily on really? Instagram. Yeah, I've heard it's pretty crazy on your social media, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I have like at least six groups, I think now, of oh, nice. young girls who uh -huh. um, uh, really connected with me from the show. Mm-hmm. And they're like, we are your biggest fans. And I'm like, well, I don't know. You're going to have to, like, duke it out with everyone else. There's only 10,000 of <laughs> your best fans, right? Yeah. And, um, and so these, these young ladies, you know, have really mm -hmm. connected. And so the Comic-Cons are a perfect way to give back yeah. and reach back. And oh, I went to cool. Phoenix Comic-Con mm -hmm. um, and... The room was just packed. It was great. Um, there was like over 200 people. Really? That was in the room. Oh, wow. And um, the amazing part was that I had people who came up to me afterwards mm -hmm. and they were like, how can I put it? They said that the reason that they came to see me was for entertainment. Right. But that they got so much more out of it than that. Like, yeah. they got deep things that they didn't think that they would get from, I, I can the see that. I mean, 
because we, we've worked together on, on a few projects and I, I was able to be there to watch you do what you do. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's like going to a big concert with thousands of people in there. You can feel the energy in the room, except it's just you and whoever you're painting. And you get that same feel. So it, 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 it really is amazing when you're around this amazing woman because you can feel her energy coming off. And if you're not into that or have, don't have any idea what that is, even there's just something about her. She radiates happiness and fun and cool. And just being around her will brighten your day. It's amazing. So what do you have in plan besides that for next year? Are you gonna just do the cons, or are you gonna try? Uh, and well, my my real push wants to be for the cons and mm -hmm. and going out and speaking very specifically. Okay. And I really want to get into more of what I call transformational body painting. Oh. And that's the one-on-one -on -one body painting that I do mm -hmm. that is uh, what I call a transformational session. Right. And that's where I body paint a person and we talk about what it is that they want to do it for. And when we're painting, I'm not just, I'm not just, hey, we're at a, Thing and hurry up and get you done in like, right, you're, like on the, you're on you're on the runway in in 30 minutes <laughs> we gotta finish this right right that's a different kind of environment mm -hmm. but in the transformational body painting I'm like you're perfect you're worthy you're whole you're deserving you're loved you're lovable you're courageous and all these different things because when I'm painting them and doing that because they've already said yes to the paint right they're not there's no there's no argument to the energy of what i'm painting okay so like for example right right if i told you you were sexier than the sexiest man alive <laughs> from lie. people magazine right <laughs> right you could argue back with me that's sure, exactly what you did exactly. that's exactly what you did right right but if I'm painting that on you, mm -hmm. you've already said yes to the paint, so there's no argument. Oh, okay. That makes you're sense. You're just taking that in. It's all the positive feeling and right? you're observing it. And then also, when I'm doing the transformational body painting, uh, I don't allow anyone to speak negatively, either of themselves or other people. Right. If they do, they have to say three nice things about themselves. <laughs> And then they're like, oh, what? I have to do yeah. what? <laughs> and then if they hesitate, they have to say three more nice things. They're like, oh, oh no. <laughs> like, well, if you do it again, it's going to be nine by the time right. we're done. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so that stops mm -hmm. that behavior, you know, fairly quickly. And I think we need more of that in general, though. <laughs> in general, we do. Um, the other thing that I do with the transformational body painting is that I don't reveal what they look like until the end. Yeah. So they might be able to look down or something like that, but for the most part, mm -hmm. they don't really see what they look like. Right. We try to do things like cover up mirrors so that they're not seeing their reflection and stuff like that. Sure. And then at the end, you take the mirror and you flip it around. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, is that when we see artwork for the first time, we're not projecting our brain is taking in data as part of our survival mechanism actually right. that when we're in a new situation or new information is being presented to us our eyes widen mm -hmm. right our gaze softens okay. so that we can take in all the points of data right. and so if I can put in mm -hmm. as much detail as possible and usually one of the other things that I do is like I spray glitter at the at the end you oh, know because nice. all that glitter is different points of data Oh, okay. Right, so you're trying to overwhelm right. the, the, the conscious mind with data. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, you cannot project your self-loathing and hatred at the same time you're taking in that information. Right. So one of the really sneaky pieces of data that gets in <laughs> is that you're beautiful. Yeah. Is that you're worthy, is that you're whole, is that you're deserving, is that you're loved, all those things. Sure. And that's part of the transformational body painting right. process is when that moment of turning the mirror around happens yeah. and your brain crashes and that information <laughs> finally gets in as being is not just true but deeply true right and you can't fight it because 
it's already too late. It's there. No, it's already <laughs> too late. It, you already know it. Right. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. That's amazing. So it's... the so the idea is is that I go and speak and I do this and mm -hmm. I I I pack, body paint somebody live on stage right. while I'm doing it, including uh -huh. at the, the the conventions. Right. And I would love to stay later. Mm -hmm so that people could ask me for transformational sessions right. because the more people that i can help with that i think the more that all of humanity is helped mm -hmm. and i think i remember going to your uh, facebook and stuff you have lots of people that just send you letters that you've done this with and totally unsolicited that's pretty cool yeah yeah, no, yeah. they're really great because they understand that if they share their journey mm -hmm. with people who are thinking about it, right. they they know what they already know what's going to happen for them <laughs> because it's happened to them. Right. You know, so it's like encouragement from the people <clears throat> in the past who have painted. Sure. To be like, no, I know you're scared, but you really want to do this because your mm. life is going to not even look the same afterwards. Right. Yeah, I've heard that, and I've had the chance to talk to um, some of the models that you've worked on. Mm -hmm. And every time I ask them, so, hey, how, did you like the pictures? And their comments are always, oh, my God, it was such an amazing experience. It, it's not about how, how well I took their photos or the art that you painted on them. It's always, oh, my God, it was such an amazing experience, mm -hmm. which was kind of a unique reaction I wasn't expecting. Um, and I, I've become accustomed to it. We've done a couple things. So it, it was great. And, you know, I, I think it's amazing that you can do that with your artwork and all of that comes out of up here for you. It's just amazing because we've talked, well, this is the concept. And then when I see your finished product, I'm like, that is so much more than I could have even imagined. And you showed me pictures of stuff to look at. So it, it's amazing that, you know, you can tell by seeing it that it really comes from the heart with you. Yeah. It's not just about the painting, it's about everything. No, yeah, it's totally about everything because it's so temporal, it's so ephemeral. Mm -hmm. And all the photographs can do is remind them of the experience. Yeah. They cannot ever possibly capture what our human minds and brains and eyes actually see mm -hmm. because if a body just turns even a little bit all those little points of glitter and and how it moves and changes yeah. it's impossible for us to capture that i i've seen the girls when we you put up a mirror and they just want to stare at themselves in the mirror yeah. and i asked them i said I, I i've asked and they're like so what were you looking at and they're like it wasn't the artwork necessarily. That's not the first thing that came up. It was like, I wanted to see me in the mirror with that on it was so amazing. Mm -hmm. So it's an incredible thing to watch. So if you get a chance, I hope people can come out and see you and actually experience it for themselves because it really isn't anything that you would expect it to be. It's, yeah. it's amazing looking at people glowing and happy. Yeah, well, recently on Facebook, um, Someone asked the question, uh, it was like on an artist group, uh -huh. uh, you know, well, kind of like what holds you, what holds you back, right. right? And I said that I'm only one person and I can't paint the whole world. <laughs> That's a lot of brushes for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. If, if, I, if I had enough supplies and enough money to... To, to just continually do it, right. you know, I would paint as many people as possible until the day that I died. That's amazing. You know, yeah. because I really do think it's one of those types of experiences that I wish I could give mm -hmm. everyone. Right. Um, but I still have to eat and pay my bills. Well, and and those aren't the supplies and stuff. Your paints are expensive. expensive yeah. Don't you have like your own line of paint too? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just got my own. Uh, line of paint through XFX makeup right and that is uh, it's called neon Buddha so nice. I'm called neon Buddha <laughs> people started calling why. me that <laughs> it might have something to do with all the neon yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so that was 
that's how that got started. And, yeah. And I got to name all the colors. And nice. That's very cool. So if somebody was interested, well, hey, we got a. Hello, bye -bye. D Hello <laughs> DIA. <laughs> um, so if somebody wanted to try and get in touch with you, how would they do that? I mean, you're all over the place, but. Um, honestly, the easiest place to get in touch with me is mm -hmm. on Instagram. Oh, okay. Uh, because uh, anyone can direct message me there, and it goes straight to me. And very often, I have these uh, these kids who contact me, and right. they're like, "Oh my God, you 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 yeah. answered!" <laughs> <laughs> they're expecting somebody's secretary to they're respond like, or something. <laughs> what? Oh my God! You know. So it really is you it on Instagram and social media. It really is. It really is me. Uh, and now on. On Facebook, it goes to this strange other folder, and sometimes mm -hmm. it pops up if they're not there. Right. But on Instagram, it always pops up, so mm -hmm. I answer that immediately. What is your Instagram handle? Uh, everything is I am A M mm -hmm. Mythica M Y T H I C A. So it's Facebook.com forward slash I am Mythica, right. Instagram.com forward slash I am Mythica, or the at symbol I am Mythica. Right. Same for Twitter. Like everything is I am mythical. Yeah, that's okay. Well that makes it pretty simple and easy, it doesn't does. it? it does. <laughs> well very cool. So anybody who wants to, I guess that's the best way to get in touch with you. It really is. It really very is. Cool. Yeah. So anything else big coming up next year that you're planning for or looking towards? Are you gonna be writing a book or being on a national TV show? Uh, yeah, I've got several things that are coming up. My book The Power of Pretend is coming out. Mm -hmm which is how I went through my own personal trans self-transformation, you know, going sure. from being homeless to sure. living the life that I really <laughs> love right now. Awesome. And um, I have another book that is coming out called um, Seven Blockbusters to Success. Mm -hmm. A lot of people talk about, do my system and you'll be successful. Right. So I wrote a book that's like seven different ways to help you to stop self-sabotaging when you're doing this seven <laughs> steps That'd for be success. Helpful, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people that don't necessarily, they, they address doing the systems and stuff, but um, for me, what I found helpful is how to stop sabotaging myself. Right. And That's stop, always good. Stop if stopping myself. If you're not your own worst enemy, <laughs> yeah, I right? can see that being beneficial. And so I find it, uh, it it's going to be a book that I think is going to be really helpful for a lot of people. Right. And then because I'm also focusing on um, going to more comic conventions, right. um, I am going to write um, a, a book about cosplay. Nice. And self-esteem. That's very cool because I, I don't know that there's a lot of people that actually know what that is and what it really is mm -hmm. to the people that do it. Yeah. Cool. Well, I body painted a lot, so, <laughs> and it's requested a lot, so sure. um, I think it's something that I can very easily speak to because yeah. I do it all the time, right. and and, um, and I would like, I'm going to aim the book at younger audiences mm -hmm. because they've kind of picked me. So. Sure. Well, that's cool. And uh, I'll see about reaching out to some, some of the bigger cosplay people, and, mm -hmm. and um, I have... Uh, like one of my friends is AZ Power Girl. Nice. That's a cool <laughs> And uh, she's one of the ladies that dresses up in cosplay and uh -huh. goes to the conventions. And we've become friends because we've gone to the same conventions. Oh, nice. And they have an entire life that's yeah. built around cosplay. They go to all the conventions and they autograph their pictures. And they have people, mm -hmm. thousands and thousands of people that follow them. Oh, and they've made a life and a career out of it. Yeah. And so I'll see if I can get some of the... That'd be cool. Some of the girls to help sign up with that. Yeah. I think we're pretty close to our time frame. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about or tell anybody before we shut it down? Well, the other thing that's really big is that I'm getting uh, married next year. You are? Yeah. That is cool. Finally decided to do it, huh? Yep. Yep. Well, nice. I actually proposed last January, so. Oh, really? So, long engagement. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to pick the time. Well, very cool. Trying to pick the time, yeah. So you're going to invite all of your Facebook and Every, Instagram everybody, people? Well, everybody's going to be invited to the reception party. Oh, cool. But not everyone's going to be invited to the wedding. And the reason is, is because <laughs> her and I are going to be body painted. Oh, cool. 
and I'm body painting her. Uh -huh. And my friend Alicia is body painting me. Oh, very cool. And it'll be out in the woods. It's a hike up into the mountains. Right. You know, basically, so we didn't have to worry about permits. Yeah, being exactly. Naked. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they get your cover with paint. Outside color on it. Great. Oh, no, that sounds amazing. So we, we have this little spot that's right. that's up in the mountains that, uh, you know, so a small group of healthy people who can do the hike. Right. <laughs> well, that, that, that's cool, though. I, I, I could totally see that. I, but I really, wanted, I really wanted to body paint her, and I really want to be body painted. Like, yeah. I mean, we're, I'm a... It's such an integral part of yeah, our lives, you what know. You are and do, yeah. I know a lot of other body painters that they don't get body painted. <laughs> like, I, as far as I know, I'm going to be the first person to, nice. to out of the body paint world to do that. Yeah, yeah. So you set new trends all the time. Next year it'll be all the phase. <laughs> You'll be traveling around doing body paints for all everybody's wedding. <laughs> that would be cool. I would yeah, love it would. that. Wouldn't I would it love that. That would be amazing. That'd be fun. Well, very cool. Well, I thank everybody for watching the video and learning more about this amazing woman. And thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate this. This has been a fun interview. Well, thank you. Yeah. Okay.